Lions don't concern themselves with the opinions of sheep, Linda whispered to herself, applying a clumsy coat of makeup. Oh, but she wasn't a lion at all. She sold hideous leggings on Facebook. Okay, I can't be the only one who, as soon as they read the word Linda, got live, laugh, love vibes off of that. I don't know, it's just this weird feeling that 82% of all Lindas have that sign somewhere in their house or on their person. Much like Karen's with expired coupons. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash anti-MLM because you know there just can't be enough of you randomly messaging somebody and then offering to uh, let them know how they can make some money. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. Also check out another video too, there should be a decent amount of ones you might find interesting. A girl selling airborne messaged me her number asking me to join her team and the next day a girl selling Monat did the same thing. So I gave her airborne girl's number. I feel like I just opened up a pyramid scheme black hole. A uh, hey girl of vortex. Ah uh, yes the uh, unstoppable force meets the immovable object. We finally will figure out which is which and which one is the victor. Kind of weird though that it took pyramid schemes to figure that one out. Okay but like real talk. Kylie is just the bougie version of girls from high school I have a kid instead of going to university and then some multi-level marketing stuff on Facebook yeah nah after that whole big chicken pig thing I I honestly just can't take him seriously this type of advertising doesn't work everyone hates it Facebook is not a place to beg your friends for money it for Ponzi schemes stop trying to sell your friends bad products like but not included to weight loss anything you might as well tell your friends they're fat while you're at it if your wraps and meal plans make up your friends Friends who actually give anything about makeup are absolutely not interested in ordering something subpar from your catalog. Anything related to medical conditions, your essential oils, weird pills, etc. are not helpful suggestions. Surprisingly, those things don't work. Stop preying on sick and desperate people. Stop alienating friends and coworkers because you might be able to get a commission check for $10. It's not worth it. P.S. No, honey, you're not self-employed. Hashtag absolutely not sorry. Hey, look there, you might want to be careful with them words. You're definitely rustling all them Karen haircuts there. All this on top of the fact that I'm pretty certain nowadays if somebody you haven't talked to in almost a decade just randomly messages you out of nowhere, they're pretty much going to be assumed as a pyramid scheme worker. Like, hey, yeah, so we haven't talked in over 10 years, but you're messaging me out of nowhere asking me how to make money. Yeah, that's totally not sketchy. I guess those essential oils don't exactly help with your brain power and common sense there. If you try to sell me MLM anything, I'm finding your dad and becoming your stepmom. Hashtag boss babe that. Jeez, you're taking the Call of Duty route, just going straight savage. Hey, girl, I was wondering if you'd be interested in being a product model for our brand new slimming gummies with apple cider vinegar. Today's herbal cleanse to lose 31 pounds in 90 days or hair, skin, and nails. I am looking for five product models this month. I am already underweight. If I were to lose 31 pounds, I'd be dead and currently recovering from an eating disorder. Yeah, also, uh, if you if you use an obscene amount of emojis, I'm not gonna listen to you, really. I know the first person is serious. Second person is just making a joke out of it. I know that already. Just Jesus. Also, ma'am, that's responding on the right. Do you honestly expect the person on the left to understand that? Because, God forbid, they do not know how to read a room in the first place. Do you guys want to see what oils I carry with me and why? Look, I can't be the only one where with this being the answer, I just have this weird feeling in the back of my head that they're gonna tell us anyway, because, you know, God forbid anybody say something they don't want to do and anybody, you know, respect that. Let's answer some questions you have about coaching. Is it a pyramid scheme? I, I Look, I can't be the only one noticing that the facial expression that goes with any pyramid scheme is always some over over-exaggerated smile that makes me think of the question, why so serious? Pyramid schemes are illegal, so the answer is no. We are a multi-level marketing company that provides some amazing products that will most definitely change your life. Okay, but explain how exactly that format is set up and tell me that don't look like a pyramid. You calling a pyramid scheme an MLM is like car guys saying they're going to Mexico. Mom, I'm too scared to go to the top. Can I have my oils? Excuse me, what? 
Why, yes you can, sweetheart. I tossed up the new Brave Kids Collection roller, and she immediately applied it to her wrist, hooked it to her pants, took a deep breath, and climbed to the top. Empowering your kids is easy. If you provide them the right tool, Dutera did good on this one. Please, I can't tell if that's the business name or what you named your kid. Hey, what pyramid scheme is this? Not a scheme. Ah, you would become a distributor just like me and join it works. It would be your own business. Uh, you would have to post statuses online and get people interested in buying the product we have. You can sign up for only $20 using my promo code. So you get signed up by somebody and you make money by getting other people to sign up and sell products. Yes, exactly that. I'm sorry, but that is literally a pyramid scheme. Only thing about it works that works is that it works well at being annoying as can be. Walked in on my girlfriend while she was having this with another guy. What are you doing here, she says. You gave me a key, remember? I ended up not working and wanted to surprise you. Fifteen years later, she reaches out and leaves me a message that she'd like to talk. I figured she's doing some 12-step thing or something and wants to make amends. Nope, she wanted to try to sell me on Amway. Eh, come on, dude, you're expecting people to want to redeem themselves? Come on now. A few years ago, a cute guy at a coffee shop came to say hi to me right as he was leaving and we decided to have a coffee coffee the next day. I showed up date ready and he showed up with his fiance to pitch me on their pyramid scheme. He, no, you do this to me, you will very much wind up in a future video. I am not even joking on this. Like, you do this and you mess with me like that? Nope. Mm -mm. I am out and I am definitely putting this in a video. I do not do this whole getting played part. I'm gonna start a pyramid scheme where I make one friend and they make two friends and those two each make three friends and then I have a birthday party. I can understand the idea and all personally, I'm just more so the whole I like a little single digit amount of people to hang out with at the birthday party and that would be it. Like it don't have to be any type of 50 person rager. Pyramid scheme girls won't be receiving a stimulus check from the government due to the fact that earning a six figure income with a bunch of emojis automatically makes you ineligible. Actually now come to think of it that would be fun entertainment seeing how fast people can go in and change their bios on Instagram. MLM recruitment messages are the dong pics of the mom world. Holy crap they're onto something. When you get down and think about it they come out and solicited and and they don't take no for an answer. Holy, they are on to some- It is the dong pick of the mom world. I'm so glad Starbucks is back to full capacity. I've watched three first dates and two pyramid scheme pitches today. Life is normal again. Ah, yes. Life turns back to normality for everybody in their own special ways. MLMs are just the grown-up versions of those fundraisers in elementary school where if you sold $500 of stuff to your neighbors, you'd get, like, the frisbee or something, and you thought that was the most reasonable deal ever. Ever. Well, there is that, but there is also a little bit of a difference. When those fundraisers in school happened, there was actually some reward that you got out of it all and weren't hated by the general public. Personally, I did the whole thing and I got the whole, I got a mini vending machine. That was actually pretty cool. It was a little tiny thing. It held cans of soda in rows of four and I liked it. I got no idea where it is though. It's somewhere in my basement because my basement is a labyrinth. So in a nutshell, grade schoolers are more profitable off of this kind of thing than the Avon and, you know, Janet's Live, Laugh, Love, Coffee, Ape, Hun Buns or whatever you want to call it. And when it's career day and your mom starts talking about her pyramid scheme, oh uh, look, honestly, that would be me because if my parents had come in and started doing anything along those lines, I would make sure to wear a hoodie and I would tighten that thing to the point where I look like freaking Kenny. I love that the mean girls from high school now have to beg me to buy their pyramid scheme lotion so they can afford rent. <laughs> LOL. I mean, honestly, that's just some of my favorite things to see. That's just karma at its finest. Like, seriously, you'll have the people that just bully people and torment them to no end during high school and then think the second you graduate it's just water under the bridge everything's fine we can all be friends now we can go out for weekends with beers and everything yeah no uh uh nope you tormented me and that is still affecting me to this day so i will not help you a friendly reminder that tomorrow is small business saturday so go out there and visit your favorite bookstore or record store your friend's etsy shop or a small local business that maybe you've never visited before. Visit them, but say no to the Sentry, the LuLaRoe, doTERRA, and any other MLM that pretends to be a small business. Support small local businesses, not the local chapter of Nationwide Pyramid Schemes. So we have a Category 4 hurricane barreling towards us, and someone asked, what kind of foods do you get to prepare? And some dependa says Herbalife shakes. Now is not the time for your MLM stuff, Brenda. Look, Brenda, if you got an 
oil that's essential in stopping a hurricane, please do step forward and say so, but otherwise, shut up. Some moms at my gym keep trying to sell me stupid pyramid scheme makeup products, and I'm getting real sick of listening to them. Yesterday, one was like, and this will help combat aging and wrinkles. Great for you. Like, I'm 22, and I will flirt with your husband, B. Keep it up. Yeah, nah, if, if I'm at the gym, please do not come up and talk to me, or, you know, just common sense, don't do this to anybody, unless it's like you complimenting, hey, you're doing good on your workout, keep it up, that kind of thing. Or, like, if it's some dude and you notice the car outside, he's like, hey, I like your ride, that's pretty cool. Talk about stuff that you might actually have a legit conversation of. Don't try to sell him something. Let your kids believe in Santa Claus. You over here believing in waist trainers and Herbalife and no one telling you is. <laughs> okay, I gotta save that one. But also, who who out here trying to sell an MLM ball at the same time saying your kid can't believe in Santa Claus? Because if you're gonna have that type of mindset, we're gonna have a problem. If you're constantly and for sure believing that you can get a profit off of this pyramid scheme, your kid should be allowed to believe in Santa Claus. You all thinks they ruined my day? Oh, if they only knew. I'm doing happy dances that their truck had a bad seal and coated all of my remaining inventory and more during our move. They said they will re reimburse me full wholesale for my remaining 170 pieces that I haven't even been able to get $5 each for. And just like that, my Lula days are done. So let me get this straight. The only way that the product is useful and you can make a profit off of it is if you destroy it. Great. <laughs> To whoever posted my status asking for help on Reddit, thanks for making me cry. Also, no one has sent me any help in the form of money or gifts for the upcoming semester. I just wanted a freaking iPhone so I could feel accepted, and not a single freaking person offered to buy me a new one. I don't want your poor people androids. To make things worse, my loan payments for my business are due, and none of you have even effing required about doTERRA and the amazing products I sell. Thanks a lot, a-holes. I hope you all die. Oh, boo frickin' who. You haven't gotten anybody to give you- How much do those things cost? A thousand dollars for an iPhone? Well, guess what? You might want to start off with a little Nokia flip phone and a little Chromebook. Maybe get that'll get you a little thing, because uh, just because you work with a pyramid scheme don't mean you get to work at the top of the pyramid. Plus, way to go trying to talk negative about Androids. Well, guess what? Here's the thing. A lot of people actually have Androids because, guess what? They're affordable. Plus, let me guess. You would also then want to pay the extra $350 to get the the headset, don't you? I know it. I was reading a very anti-MLM Reddit, oh gee, I wonder which one, forum today, and was just laughed and laughed. Like a massive group of people who announce they are quitters. Because you wouldn't waste your time giving your opinion if you hadn't tried it. I got two no's and quit, and then went on your personal vent data against an industry that creates millionaires each and every year? Hashtag haters never hustle. So what you're saying is it's a pyramid scheme that it is a hustle, isn't it? Plus also saying that you're just a hater because you ain't trying it, that that's a not that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Like if something has a whole bunch of reviews and the mass majority of them are negative reviews, I'm probably going to assume that it's not a good product. Like at that point, I honestly don't need to try it out to know it's probably a crock of doo-doo. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys like to see more r slash anti-MLM videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, or, you know, just let people know about an MLM that you've seen that definitely is very much not something you want to be a part of. Yeah, but if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.